Say you are writing a story or a book and you're finished with the first draft and you're ready to move to getting some external or third person perspective level feedback on your work. Where do you start? The best place to start is of course looking at hiring an editor to look over your work, a professional editor. How do you go about doing this and how do you know you've found a good editor that's right for you? That's what this video is going to go into. So stick around to find out what makes a good editor or how you can tell that you're dealing with a good editor. Hello fellow writers, authors, entrepreneurs, and editors. Welcome back to another video here at Little Redbird Publishing. If you're new to this channel, I'm Robin and I make videos about everything to do with the book writing and publishing process. This also includes editing, of course, that being a very important step of the process. So I thought I'd make a video about how to know that you found a good editor. I know that writers often struggle with finding a good editor or knowing where to start to find a good editor. I know when I was first starting out on my journey as a book writer, I had a hard time finding a good editor. There are definitely ways you can vet an editor to see if they are a good fit for you as a writer. And just as a side note about that, what works for one writer may not work for another writer. You always have to find what works best for you, who you click well with as an editor because their feedback to you is going to be more often than not a back and forth, especially if that editor is also a book coach and you're working with them on multiple projects, maybe multiple books or a series that you have. Finding one good editor that you can come back to and be confident in for all the books that you write is really useful and will save you a lot of time, money, and effort in the long run. All right, so I just wanted to share a few key points for you guys to maybe ask yourself or to think about when you're communicating with your editor to figure out whether that editor is a good fit for you and just to figure out if you found a good editor. I've ordered this list in order of what I think is the most important to maybe the least important not necessarily that the last point on this list is unimportant, but just from my perspective and my opinion, what I think is the best thing to look for first and where to focus your most of your attention on. And from my experience, to be able to evaluate whether this editor is right for you or a good fit or just a good editor in general. All right, so point number one is that they have social proof or in other words, proof over promise. This essentially means they have testimonials somewhere in a public facing way, whether on social media or their website that you can take a look at. Maybe you can see the previous writers they've worked with or the books that they've worked on. Even if an editor is just starting out, good practice is to build up that social proof and that experience before starting to charge clients so the best way to go about this as an editor and as anyone who's selling product or service online is to start for free so you can gain that experience. And it's no exception for editors. So this means that there's really no excuse for editors not to have this social proof somewhere online, even if they're new. And I say this just because experience doesn't necessarily mean an editor is better. So if you're looking at an inexperienced editor versus an experienced editor, maybe the inexperienced editor started editing, editing a year ago and the experienced editor has 10 years under their belt. The inexperienced editor is not necessarily not as good as the experienced editor, but if both of them have that social proof and have at least the base level of experience, you can garner from that and you can make your own decisions on whether they're right for you. If an editor is not as experienced, then you might not have as much to go by and they might not have as many testimonials from clients, but a good editor 
often starts out with focusing on gaining this experience and maybe doing some work for free or for a low charge to gain this experience before they start charging so that they could have this social proof so that they could show and prove over promising something and that's another mark of a good editor next is that their editing includes both positive encouragement and telling you exactly what you're doing well and what you can keep doing more of to make the story even stronger and of course feedback on the things you can improve on in a constructive manner along with targeted questions or suggestions for you to think about a good editor will not tell you what to do they will give you suggestions and they will tell you what they are seeing and why and why the reader might care or not care or what the reader might think or what the reader might perceive when reading certain parts of the book but a good editor will not outright change the things for you they will give you suggestions and then you will then decide ultimately as the writer whether to go with their suggestions or go a different route because it is your story after all an editor is designed to give you professional level feedback but they are not there to take over your story but they can give you really valuable insight on different angles that you can approach things and what the reader sees when they're reading your work all right number three they know the difference between different types of editing and they specifically ask you what kind of editing you would like done on your story or your book or they say they specialize in a specific kind of editing and what i mean by that is the types or the different levels of editing and i have made a video outlining all five types of editing and i'll link that somewhere at the top of this video so feel free to check that out it's important to know what kind of editing you are looking for and if the editor you know doesn't have any idea of the different types of editing that's a pretty big red flag but in short you know there's developmental or story editing which focuses on the story as a whole the big picture the content and it often is the first step because it requires the most amount of work if you're doing revisions on the actual story and then there's line editing which is you know how do the sentences flow the paragraphs it's more to do with flow then there's copy editing which is grammar spelling and other things like clarity at the sentence and word level and then there's proofreading which is more of the layout and you know still includes a bit of copy editing here and there like some small grammar spelling mistakes but it's more to do with the layout and how everything looks and that's usually for once the book has been formatted to take a look over but anyways i go into this in more detail in that video so feel free to check that out but if an editor doesn't know or doesn't ask you or doesn't say what edit they're doing on your work when you agree to work together that's a bit of a red flag because because you always want to know what kind or what level of editing is being done on your work as a writer and how many revisions you might expect based on the state of your work. All right, number four. It's a good thing for an editor to have, of course, because I do think it's still a good indicator of this editor's quality and whether they've reached a more objective measure for their editing skills and that is if they are vetted by an organization that trains editors or that has editors go through a rigorous process to ensure that they have the right skills to edit your work and a few good names out there are first editing they're a good company that acts as the connector or middleman between you as the author and their group of editors that they have or their team of editors if the editor is part of their team then you can be confident that they'll do a good job editing your work and they have the skills to do that author accelerator is another one they i've mentioned them before and i've also gone through their 
process. It's very rigorous. They make sure that you have the right skills and trust me, they don't pass you unless they know for sure and they see for sure that you understand the editing process and you understand what it takes to give effective feedback and ask the right questions in a coaching manner, right? Not so much as just going in and correcting your work, but also in making targeted suggestions and helping you keep your voice as a writer. So not taking over the project, all those things that make a good editor. If you see that Author Accelerator certified logo or little image on the editor's website, then you know that they are vetted by one of the best. And you can be confident that they'll do a good job. If your book is fiction or memoir, but mostly fiction, if they're a story coach certified editor, this is, in my opinion, one of the best indicators that this editor is serious and great at what they do. Because again, them going through this process ensures that one, they are really serious about being an editor. They've invested time, money, and effort into getting these certifications, getting these skills, and getting the feedback from more experienced editors to make sure that they're bringing their best editing work to their clients. And two, of course, they have the skills because they passed the certification. The last point just has to do with professionalism. Do they write up a contract detailing the terms that you have agreed to before starting the work? This is important to make sure that the scope of the project is clear for both parties and that everyone understands the work that's being done. And it prevents any kind of miscommunications about this. And for those of you who are looking for an editor, like I said in the beginning of this video or close to the beginning, first editing is a good resource to check out and also Fictionary, if you're writing fiction, Story Coach Certified Editors are another good resource to start with. I also am an Author Accelerator Certified Coach myself and I'm working on getting certified as a Story Coach Editor for fiction and memoir. I do think that these organizations really do help editors to make sure that they have the skills that clients are looking for in a good editor. Feel free to check out my services if you're interested. I will link that down in the description below as well. And for all you writers out there, happy writing. And for all you editors out there, happy editing. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.